Hey everybody, it's Indie Lady A, our first series of healthy uh, videos. As you know, we talked about last week um, doing a healthy video segment, and we're going to continue doing it. So today we're going to jump it off with vitamin B12. going to give you a list of what vitamin B12 is good for, and also some foods that you can find B12 in. I know a lot of people don't have time to maybe prepare that healthy meal and they like to take the B12 supplement. But you can also get B12 in your organic fish eggs, beef liver. A lot of people don't like liver, but it, it is really good for you, that beef liver. And um, fish, of course, your omega, your fish uh, salmon is good. You want to get that salmon. It's really tasty and you can fix it a lot of different ways. Now, B12 is great for your energy booster. Most people is familiar with uh, B12 being the energy booster. And so that's one thing. And for the immune system, those who suffer with a lot of different um, diseases and things of that nature, you want to build up your immune system with the B12. So that's a good thing. It boosts uh, your immune system. And we talk about Crohn's disease because uh, that disease carries a lot of pain and things of that nature. Uh, it's a disease of the colon. So if you are a sufferer of Crohn's disease and you want to try and alleviate um, some of the pain because those who have it know that it is really difficult and very painful. But B12 uh, helps to alleviate some of the discomfort with um, Crohn's disease. And if you have joint problems as far as um, arthritis, B12 can help to alleviate. Now, not just taking it one time, we do want to stress you have to take B12 on a consistent um, regimen and not just one or two times and think um, it's going to do the trick. No, you, you have to make it part of your daily health regimen. Okay, I want to get that point out there. So now B12 is also um, helps the body to process protein. You know, protein is one of the main things the body needs to really function well and for all of your uh, cells to function well together. Your body needs that protein. So B12 helps the body to process protein. Also, it adds moisture to your skin. B12 is great for um, giving your skin a healthy glow, a healthy glowing skin. So you want to get your B12 into your healthy uh, regimen. Also, if you suffer with cholesterol, if you have high cholesterol, um, and I know this for a fact because my cholesterol was through the roof at three, over 300, you want to take B12 to help lower your cholesterol. Also, um, orange juice is good too because you want to get that cholesterol moving throughout the body and to flush it out of the system. Okay, and so that is how you lower your cholesterol. You have to get it flushed out. You have to remove it from the arteries and B12 and to get your orange juice and daily. You have to do this daily uh, and your, your vegetables and your, your fruit, your peaches, and it pulls that cholesterol out of your system and flushes out. Just how you lower your cholesterol. Okay. And it really does work because I'm telling you, mine was over 300, I'm down to 200. And it took me about eight or nine months, I want to say. So let's keep going here. Um, B12 also helps to strengthen your nails. If you have problems with your nails breaking, you want to get more B12 uh, into your daily regimen. Also, if you want to know, if you think you're lacking B12, you'll be very fatigued, tired, um, difficulty with your reflexes. That's one uh, signal that you are suffering with B12. A lot of people like the B12 dots. And I used to use those. The subliminal dots where you put them up under your tongue, those are pretty cool. Those are good because it goes straight into your blood system. Um, those are actually um, really good. So I would recommend those B12 dots. And you can't get the vegetarian ones, 100% uh, vegetarian uh, B12 dots. Those are the ones that I used to use. And um, now I eat a lot of fish and things of that nature. So also B12 is great for helping you to promote weight loss. So if you're trying to get your weight down, it helps to promote weight loss. Also, um, B12 helps to bring your blood pressure down. Now, that was one area I had a really serious problem with. My blood pressure just was just crazy all over the place. But we have to do more than just um, B12 on that blood pressure. You have to really um, exercise and really change your diet and get things going 
working all together. And I do want to say this before we end. You have to take B12 on a daily consistent uh, basis, not just once or twice a week. You want to get that B12 into your diet. And so we're going to sign off here. I see we're running uh, a little bit over our time. So I want you guys to tune in on Tuesday night. You know, we're always on WSF Radio promoting our artists. And that is 5 p.m. on the Central Standard Time Zone. So it's been great starting off the week with healthy episodes of um, nutrition with B12. And we're going to do some more. And I took this... Um, information from the articles that I published online and so a lot of people who may not want to go through and search and read the article we're going to take those articles and turn them into videos so that is what we're doing and um, it's been great talking with you and bye bye and see you next time